What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your computer into an Android tablet. The software that will let you do this is called Andy, and there's a free download available at andyroid.net. At the moment, a Mac version of this software is not available, despite what it claims on the website, but it's due out any time. So to get started, just head to andyroid.net, then click the download button right in the middle of the screen. And once the installer file is finished downloading, go ahead and run it. You may have to put in an administrator password to install this program, depending on your setup. But basically, just follow the prompts and let it do its thing. The installation should take about 5 minutes in real time, but when it's done, Andy should start right up. And it's really a complete Android shell for Windows. It even has to boot up an optimized Dalvik cache. There's a button down here at the bottom that'll let you go full screen so the Android experience will be completely immersive. And just like when you boot an Android device for the first time, you'll have to go through the initial setup process. So use your computer's keyboard to put in your Google credentials like you normally would, and the mouse behaves like a touch event in Android, so there's tap, double tap, and long press functionality. The rest of the setup process is the same, but obviously there's no GPS, so some location-based services won't work properly. Then Andy has a supplemental syncing service that you can sign into, and that's the last part of setup. From here, it's just like you're using any Android device. You can install apps, play games, and do whatever you normally do with an Android tablet. Andy runs 4.2.2, so it's a jelly bean build at the moment. But the Play Store works as it normally would, and you can even install a new launcher to customize the home screen. So this really is like turning your computer into an Android tablet. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.